creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you the coolest hack using these new cutting mats that you can get from the Dollar Tree. These are an eight by six inch cutting mat. I think cutting mats are super useful. An eight by six one, uh, you know, you're limited as to what you can use it for. And when it comes to these cutting mats, a regular cutting mat, Joann's, Michael's, any craft store, they're pretty expensive. You're not gonna get one for under $20, $25, at least a decent size one. And so today I'm gonna be showing you a hack with these here cutting mats, these eight by six ones that you can get at the Dollar Tree and it's gonna cost you $9. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for today's hack using these here cutting mats. Alrighty, so like I said, you're gonna need nine of these cutting mats by Crafter Square that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And again, these measure out at eight inches long by six inches wide. I'm gonna line them up in rows of three. You'll see that these cutting mats have a solid side and this printed side. I'm gonna utilize the solid side for this cutting mat because I don't need the printed side that has the measurements. Once I've got my two rows of three placed together using some of Dollar Tree's duct tape, I'm going with the white because it'll match the printed side of these mats. I'm gonna use this tape to adhere these two rows of three together just by placing a strip of tape where the two mats meet. Now, I like Dollar Tree's duct tape. If you wanna use a heavier duty or tape, heavier duty or a more heavy duty tape, you can but I'm fine with this. I found that this worked just fine. Once I've got these two rows of three mats taped together, I'm gonna place my last three mats on the side. And I'm gonna tape them together as well the same way. Now I'm choosing not to use a glue because I felt like by placing a glue on the sides of the mat, on the edges, and then placing them together, you were gonna get some spillage. I didn't want any glue seeping out of the edges. Yeah, you can go ahead and wipe it, but I just felt like trying to get glue perfectly on the edges of these mats is really hard to do, and it's just gonna come out messy. And because these mats are going to be on a flat surface, this is gonna be the new background of my videos when I'm DIYing, I really didn't see a need to glue them together. It's not something that's gonna be moved a lot. It's something that's just gonna kind of be in place. It actually has like a no skid mat under it. Now you can see that I'm going ahead and I'm taking the tape and I'm gluing from side to side as well just to make sure that all of the edges that meet up of the mats is taped together. And so really it just takes four strips of tape. I flipped it over. Once I flip it over, you can see that I've got this nice solid side of cutting mats. And yeah, there are those four holes in the middle where they all meet, but I'm not real worried about it because I had already tried this out and you'll see here in the video um, just how nice this works. I'm gonna go ahead, remove these stickers and because the marks where the stickers were at are going to bother me, I'm gonna use some all-purpose cleaner and just kind of wipe these down. Here I wanted to show you that by using a rotary cutter or even a razor blade, you can very easily cut through paper. Using a ruler, you can put a good amount of pressure on these mats and it's a self-healing mat, which means it doesn't cut through the mat. These mats are a great quality mat and I think to utilize them best is to actually place several of them together to give you a bigger area for a workspace. I also wanted to show you that even though this is taped together, it is a piece that you can still flip from side to side if you wanted to and utilize both sides even though the other side is taped. 
For me, I really just needed a nice solid background. I needed and wanted a bigger cutting mat and so this is gonna work perfect for that. If you really wanted to use the other side where the printed measurements were, you really could very easily, even though the measurements kind of repeat themselves. You can see that just by lining up your ruler with the lines, you can get a straight cut and you can still measure it within, you know, six or eight inches because it's pretty easy to tell. You're just gonna wanna make sure if you're gonna utilize the printed side that you tape the solid side. Make sure to head on over to Kayla's channel after this video because this week she is bringing to you all the things that remind her of July and her July photography challenge. Link to her video you can find in the description box below. And there you have a giant cutting mat for your surface for the bargain price of, okay, we'll call it $10 because we had to buy tape. I think that's an amazing savings because like I said before, you can't get a giant cutting mat for under $25 or $30, a decent one anyway. And honestly, these eight by six cutting mats are a good quality. They are very thick and I'm impressed with them. And so I think that just by taping nine of them together, you've got a good surface that you can cut on with a rotary cutter, with a razor, and it's not gonna go through. And so it's a lot more useful than just this size here. I hope you all enjoyed this quick, easy hack using these new cutting mats by Crafter Square that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Keep your eye open for them if you haven't seen them because it's one you're gonna wanna snatch up when you see it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to you guessed it. 5,000 likes please because like I always say each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below They really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more until next time everybody I hope you have a fantastic day Stay happy stay safe stay healthy and stay positive most of all and bye for now